All right, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. I wanna talk about something today. And I just post, I just posted it on my Instagram. By the way, go follow me on my Instagram right here. Do a lot of stuff on there, but I wanna talk about optionality. That's what I wanna talk about today. Now, I've talked about it in the past. I've talked about uh, the different options you have as a nurse, but I don't think it can be really understated. I don't think that you can really understate how many options you have as a nurse. It's never, again, I've, I've talked about this before, but in nursing or in life, everything is about options. It's not about money anymore. I mean, money is, is of course, the end goal of everything. You know, you wanna have more money, obviously, because money gives you what? Money gives you options. That is your power when you have money. So think about it from this point. You'll make decent money as a nurse, right? But think about the options you have as a nurse. I literally, today, in one day, just, just got two travel uh, offer assignments to uh, out west. The first offer was to, uh, in Colorado, it was for 1,800 take home per week uh, outside of Denver. And the other one was in Utah, and it was 1,600 per week, and that was a day shift. The 1,800 a week was a mid shift. And I also had another job offer from uh, uh, the another nursing school wanted me to come on and teach as a nursing professor. Now, now I have some options. You know, I have some options. I have some ideas I have to go about. Uh, some some areas. I I don't know. I have a decision to make. I got to weigh the pros and cons. I definitely want to go take the travel assignment outside of Denver uh, because that would be you know that will be the area I want to be for the summer. Now. After the summer, going back into teaching and all of that stuff, you know, I definitely have a decision to make there. Uh, so I'm kind of uh, I'm weighing out the pros and cons. You know, at least with the travel assignment, I mean, with a teaching assignment, I have, uh, you know, I have a definitely a, a regular schedule. You know, all that, I have weekends off, all that good stuff. And this job at the teaching assignment would allow me to have uh, multiple uh, three day weekends because we're not open on Friday. So that's definitely. A plus. However, the money isn't quite as good. So, uh, so yeah, there's you know you got to weigh the pros and cons again. Now, the travel nursing assignments is what I'm, I'm I'm leaning towards one of the travel nursing assignments for sure. It's just a matter of do I want to do that? And if I do it, uh, I pretty much have to stop teaching. Um, I'm not going to teach for the summer, but I may not be able to, to take that job uh, teaching. So you know, I got I got options and different things to weigh in and weigh out but that was pretty much the basis of this video when I when I you know wanted to make it was all about optionality I, I want you guys to remember that I want you to remember that optionality is literally everything think about this you know if you if you're in a relationship and you have options don't you think that 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 girl or that guy's gonna treat you just a little bit better same way with a job. Don't you know that you have options? It gives you the freedom to be creative. It gives you the freedom to do other stuff. It gives you the freedom to not have to worry about if you're going to get fired for whatever reason, you know, uh, or or being, you know, being controlled by your boss or controlled by your employer. Uh, that's a big, big thing to think about, you know, when you, when you make this decision. Uh, any decision you make regarding nursing jobs, nursing stuff in general is you got to make sure that it's gonna you know that that it fits you and that you're not gonna be controlled by something and, and you do that by optionality now going on for uh, further with this is that optionality is something that is probably one of the most underappreciated things in life today I mean there's so many people that are that are stifled by whatever job they have and I know I've done this video before but I just it was on my mind I wanted to talk about it again and plus after just getting those job offers today I just kept thinking about how blessed I was to be into this profession uh, as, as, as a nurse and it's more than just like caring for people that's all good but it's, it's option it's being able to do what you enjoy doing being able to do what you like to do um, I love teaching. Uh, I do do that, but I will say this: the money is not quite as good as teaching, right? Um, so, what can I do in the summer to try to make up that? Is go on, a, go on a decent travel assignment, you know, make a little cash, put a little, put a little money away. So, 
Anyways, guys, I know this is sort of a rambling video, but I just wanted to talk again about the optionality you have as a nurse. If you're ever just, you know, kind of down and out, if you're studying in nursing school, if you're thinking about, you know, why am I doing nursing school? Why am I in nursing school? Think about when you get that RN after your name. Think about the options you have after that. The options that go in any, you could be a CRNA. You could go be a travel nurse. You could be a teacher. I mean, there's literally, you'd be a nurse practitioner. There's literally, I don't know, 50, 60, probably, hell, I don't know how many different directions and specialties and subspecialties you can go into, but there's plenty for you to do. So anyways, guys, quick video today. Just wanted to talk about that, about optionality and nursing. You guys have a, oh, by the way, I'm also working on a new video uh, for the poll that you guys did on my community tab. Really appreciate that. I'm working on some videos. I'm gonna do all three videos, but I'm working on those now on the planning stages. So hopefully we'll get those done. All right, guys, y'all take care. Peace.